Back in 2009, the state of Ohio claimed the pawpaw as its state native fruit. A lot of people don't know what pawpaws are. They may have seen them in the woods, these very large leafed trees, and they think, oh, that's something really different and interesting. Um, it has very good characteristics for being able to determine what they are. So it has these great big leaves. You know, they can be up to a foot long. They also have these really cool buds that actually kind of look like paintbrushes. And if you touch them gently, they are kind of velvety. You're going to find pawpaws growing throughout the state of Ohio. They're mostly going to be found in places with deep, rich, moist soil, but they don't want to be standing in water. Pawpaws also usually grow in clumps, so if you find one, look up, you're going to see a lot of other ones growing around you. So throughout the growing season, the pawpaw fruit actually starts developing, and you're going to see these in growing in clumps around the tops of the trees. If you give the tree a gentle shake and the, the pawpaws start to fall out, that's when you know they're ripe. And be careful, you don't want to be standing directly underneath them when you shake the tree, or you may accidentally take one in the head. <laughs> um, but the pawpaw fruit is actually really delicious. It has kind of a banana custard flavor to it. The biggest thing to figure out when they're ripe is you want to squeeze them just gently and you want them to give about like a very ripe peach does. That's when you know it's perfect to eat. If the fruit's hard, you know, put it on the shelf for a few days until it starts to be soft because an unripe pawpaw is terrible. Now pawpaws, when you're ready to eat them, you know, like we said, they have a nice little bit of a give. You want to cut through the flesh because it's pretty tough and you really don't want to eat that too much. And you pull back the skin. If they're real ripe, they can be a little bit slimy sometimes. And you'll start to see inside it has these great big seeds in here. So they'll have these great big black seeds. You don't want to eat those either, but you can save those and plant those uh, when you're ready to. Now this is definitely one of the great parts of being a forester. Pretty much all the fresh fruit in the woods I can eat. 